Good morning guys, back again in Canberra. Um, today, going on a pretty big adventure, going on a five day road trip. Uh, two locations, going to The Rock in country New South Wales, kind of western, southwest New South Wales, uh, near Wagga Wagga. Uh, that's today's mission, get there, so it's like a three, three and a half hour drive, um, hike the rock which is literally what the town's named after and then from there head to my nan's stay the night and then head up to the blue mountains which is another three and a half four hour drive so yeah pretty big adventure um should be a total five trip five days so hopefully five videos maybe four um but yeah just gonna take you along enjoy the ride um and i'll probably see you either in wagga or at the rock but yeah can't wait for today's adventure good to be back out out of the act got some time and i was like let's make the most of it but yeah as you can see sun just rising um so yeah just gotta head off and start the drive okay made it just about halfway made it to jugiong uh as you can see it's quite foggy it's not super cold which is good um, but yeah, just stopping off at the Long Track Pantry. Gonna try and get just a coffee, I think. And then have that, then head off. Um, but yeah, Long Track Pantry, it's a pretty good, pretty good um, place to stop off and just stretch your legs. Like it's not far from Canberra. About an hour and 50 minutes maybe, but always good to stop and they've Good food when you want it, good drinks, and also some condiments and stuff like that, which are really good gifts. So yeah, we'll head over there now. Thank you. guys welcome to the rock as you can as you probably saw um, from some of the driving clips we're gonna well at least hopefully you saw it um, we're gonna head up to as its namesake the rock um, yeah it's something this is a hike that I've wanted to do for a, quite a while but because it's what three and a half hours drive from home for a six kilometer walk, uh, well, hike. It's meant to be a bit challenging, um, but yeah, it should be pretty epic. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's where we going and on GoPro it looks so much smaller than it looks from my eyes right now.
Okay, so that's the town. Namesake of this hill, as they call it. <laughs> Called the Rock. And this is the summit. Well, just a bit below the summit, but this has to be one of my top, at least top five hikes that I've ever done in Australia. Like, just see the sheer fact that this is just in the middle of nowhere, not middle of nowhere, but it just pops out of nowhere. And yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Like, just straight down, like a drop into the valley, well, into, onto the plain. Absolutely incredible. Time for some water, time for some lunch, and then head back down uh, the so-called steep track. So we'll see how that goes, because that was still pretty steep. But yeah, let's eat some lunch. So that meal is pretty good, and what a spot to eat it. Um, it's chicken fried rice. Cold, but fantastic, much needed. Um, but yeah, time to head down. Spent a bit, bit of time up there. And then yeah, time to head down, and we'll head back along different track. <sighs> Hopefully you heard that. I think it was a peregrine falcon. I think. It's what the signs say. They, they say that there's peregrine falcons nesting, so I wonder if that was one. Oh, the down's not easy, that's for sure. I love downs, but my legs feel like jelly at the moment. <laughs> Probably three and a half hour drive doing that. Time to take the Yuga 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 track. Hmm. This should be fun. Ugh. I mean, I already went to the summit, so I don't know why you'd use this track to reach the summit. Like this sign makes no sense here. It should be down the bottom like there is one. Why is there one like that? It should stay it for easier for easier um, car park or base access. I don't know. I guess we're going up to go down. Ah. Oh well. Change of scenery. Oh, change of trail. Can't complain. This section of trail reminds me of John's Peak and Camel's Hump. So I'll send, I'll, I'll link the, those videos up in this corner uh, for you to check out, but yeah. Especially this bit. This bit looks exactly like John's Peak from one side. It's pretty crazy.
off that steep bit, my word. That was relatively uncomfortable. Like there were bits where I was down climbing. I was like, I'm not here to rock climb, I'm here to hike. But yeah, still pretty cool. Good to get some practice in because scrambling is sometimes pretty scary. That one wasn't too bad, except when I got to a ledge and I was like, why am I at a ledge? Um, but yeah, flattened out a bit now as we head down to the car park. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I think I've only got about 500 meters to the car park. And then we'll head back, well, head towards my nan and see if I can fly my drone uh, once I get out of the nature reserve. Um, but yeah, so far, well, so far, I mean, we're almost finished and it's been absolutely incredible. Just signing off from yesterday. What a great day hiking out there. Um, yeah, pretty pretty impressive. Um, got to my nens at just uh, just around sunset and chilled out for days. Saw my nens, saw my aunt and uncle, which is always good. And now it's day two, and I'll catch you in day two. See ya.